What's the uh, Shakiri notice? Um, he hasn't trained all week. He, he has got a little bit of uh, damage to the hamstring, but um, he's at, at this moment in time he's he's struggling to uh, to be available. But uh, we'll see how he is today. He, he, there may be a um, slight opportunity, but uh, he probably needs to uh, train today, um, and we'll see how he goes and how he copes with that. Um, if he comes through that, then he could well have a chance. You say damage to the hamstring. Does that mean a procedure at some point? Or is it... No, no. It's, it's just a slight strain, a little bit of a damage in the in the muscle. But um, he's had that before, and he's he's been able to play the following game. So uh, it's a little bit different. We've, we've got a little bit less time. Uh, I think last time it happened, it was Saturday to Saturday, but. Obviously, we played Monday, so he's got a couple of days less to to recover. So it's it's touch and go, really. Warren, any other injuries? Injury um, Jeff Cameron is likely to be unavailable again, uh, unfortunately. Um, the the knee uh, it has improved, um, but as with these injuries, uh, when you just open up the the knee joint, then um, they seem to improve quite rapidly, but it's always that last five, ten percent uh, that just keeps on catching you, and that that can drag on a little bit. So we're still having a little bit of pain. So the likelihood is that he's not going to be involved for us. He probably won't uh, be involved at international level next week as well. He probably needs just to calm the knee down, and then uh, then he'll be okay. I'll ask you a question because you've always got an opinion on these. These internationals, I don't seem to remember November as when we were younger, but there's no. you know, two games in November. Do you, do you need this right now? Um, well, no. You, you, certainly in the early part of the the season, it, it it is fragmented. It seems like it's stop start to a certain extent. Uh, November dates always seem to be set aside for for playoff games towards the end of uh, qualification period. But whether or not uh, it's the amount of teams that are involved now and. And there's more f actual fixtures than there was in my time, I don't know. But it, um, to have these games in November um, seems seems a lot of games this year for, for whatever reason. Maybe it's a consequence of the Euros in, in the summer as well. It just seems to have been a lot of international fixtures and, and dates in the calendar. How pleased were you to see Charlie Adam come in, having provided his time? Before, you know, it's, it's quite a while since his last start. Really. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie came in to, to really good effect. I was really pleased for him. He's uh, he's worked really hard in training. He's uh, he's in good physical condition at the moment. Uh, worked hard on that as well. So uh, uh, I was really encouraged. Um, I think in the past, uh, Charlie, he, he will admit himself, probably in games, it, to keep the intensity that he plays at and the energy that he shows, he, he found it difficult to complete 90, 90 minutes on occasions. Um, but that wasn't case the other evening. I, uh, I seem to recall him doing a recovery run in about the 91st, 92nd minute, and he was still going strong as anybody else on the pitch. So uh, that's really encouraging for him and for us. I thought he uh, had a good effect on the game as well. You always know with Charlie that he'll, he'll get shots off and he'll create things for you. Um, people may question his defensive capabilities, but on the night he was, he was very good in that regard. So uh, overall, uh, given it was his first nine minutes for quite some time, I, I was really pleased with it. Does that signal to some of the other people waiting on the, uh, on the sidelines that you know you, you can get a chance if you, if you do? Yeah, something. well, the, the key is is that you prepare correctly, even if you're out of the side, because if you don't, then you can't come in and have the impact that that Charlie had. Uh, clearly, he's he's, he's been uh, a little bit frustrated, like a number of the players in recent weeks, as a consequence of us. Playing well and winning games, we've we've kept a settled side, so it's been difficult to break through. But uh, in that time, you've still got to be professional, still got to train at the right intensity, do extra work to keep you up to uh, the level of the guys that are actually playing in the games themselves, and and be ready when you're called upon. And um, that's what Charlie's done. That's what they all do, in fairness, and that's why they can come in and and have an impact uh, immediately because their levels are as as high. If not better, because of the extra work they do with the, as the guys in the team. Three back-to-backs. Does this prove that 
what you were saying at the start of the season about gelling and, uh, and a bit of a fragmented start because of the Euros and people coming back different times. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a lot of factors to it. In fairness, there's, OK, we've, we had a few injuries. We, we, we had a fixture list that was quite demanding as well. Uh, we hadn't, uh, for whatever reason, got up to the levels that we wanted at, at the beginning. Um, but we're 10 games in now, and, and I think people are a little bit quick to start passing judgments on, on people, on teams, on, on, on clubs in terms of how successful or not they're going to be in a season. So after 10 games, I think it's more, more valid than you can pass a judgment on, on a team uh, in terms of how they're likely to do in the season. So after 10 games, if, if you look like for like results, uh, we've, we've got more points this year than, than last year. So, uh, so we're in good shape. Um, but clearly, because we had uh, maybe a fixture list, what, what which test, tested us clearly. But um, that does happen. You can very quickly find yourself if you've got difficult away games and and home ties against top six teams, which we had. Then very quickly, then you, you're on a five six game a run of games that you haven't got to win in, and that's what happened to us. But uh, we turned that round very very quickly and. Uh, now we're in a position where we feel uh, we're comfortable with. That's our level, level and above. So uh, we can build our season now. Was there ever a point where Peter Coates and you had a chat and he said, look, I'm with you. I understand why you're having this bad start. Did he, did he alleviate any pressure well, that you... Well, I don't think there was any pressure really internally. I think um, the Coates family are great supporters of of the club clearly uh, on a financial level but they support their managers as well um, I think they take the view that if they feel they've got the right person and, and competent people to do the job they just allow them to get on with it and that's been the case before my time as well so uh, um, I think the advantage that I have being the manager of a club that's that's owned um, by a family that have been around football for a long time is that advantage is that they've seen everything before and they understand that in football it's it's never a, a level road it's there's ups and downs and um, peaks and troughs and you do, you have to understand that because it's sport but like i said if if you have confidence in the people that uh, you, you've given a job to and then you allow them to get on with it and uh, that's that's what's happened this season and I'd like to think of the three three and a bit years i've been here I've, uh, I've justified that uh, confidence in, in what I do. The opposition tough and bit, uh, Billings finds himself in a similar position. Mm. Yeah, are you surprised to see them there where they are, particularly with some of the players that they've got? Um, well, I, I think, as I said, it, we're only 10 games in, and I think uh, if you look at their fixtures in the last few weeks, that they, they've started to turn things around. They've had injuries as well. Their fixture list wasn't too kind either, so uh, they've gone up against good teams. So it takes time just to, to settle into a season. I think uh, they're showing signs now that clearly they're, they're getting to grips with a new season, a new stadium as well, which seems to have uh, um, maybe caused them somewhat of a problem um, on whatever level. Um, so that's, that's going to be, moving forward, going to be something that's going to improve for them. Uh, it seems that they, they enjoyed their last experience there against Chelsea so uh, they'll look to build on that so um, I think it's just a case that uh, you've just got to give good football people the time to just to do their work and, and don't get too hysterical early in, in the season because uh, it's not a true reflection on on what your capabilities are for the, for the whole season in my view. Any worries or concerns with regards to fans with, with the new stadium? Uh, well, well clearly it seems like they, they've had Problems, um, and that's that's disappointing because uh, the, you see some of the scenes that were broadcast, and uh, it seems like they were from days gone by. By to be perfectly honest, and uh, you don't want to see that kind of situations developing uh, in any grounds. Um, but from our point of view, uh, we, we've been reassured. I think there's a, there's a different uh, policy, and the, the addressing concerns that we've had. I think they're doing things a little bit differently. I think there's going to be more of a police presence actually in the ground to, to, to begin with. 
there's going to be more segregation. So I think we're quite comfortable. We've we've got a really fantastic following away from home, and uh, we're very very proud of that following. But we're also very proud of how they behave and 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 the way they conduct themselves at, at away games. So uh, we don't feel that that will change. Uh, we just hope that things put in place will be will be adequate for for their protection and everybody else's. Did you go to the Olympic? No, I went to the Olympic Park. I didn't actually get into the stadium, so um, it'd be the first. It'd be interesting to see what what they've actually done. There. Um, it's clearly uh, it's not purpose built for for football. I think that's some of the criticism of it, but uh, it's still an outstanding venue. So uh, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be something new, something we look forward to. Hopefully, we we've had decent enough. Uh, a uh, record against West Ham in recent years away from home. So uh, hopefully we can continue that at the new stadium. See how you're popular as a supporter from Memory's Day. Mm -hmm. Do you think that England and Scotland should be able to wear pockets on their shirts then? Yeah, I think so. I, I can understand FIFA taking the view that, uh, well, if they open the door slightly ajar, um, then maybe maybe situations with, with other countries with more political messages that they'd possibly want to uh, push forward, and that maybe opens that possibility. And maybe they just want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we're we're paying the price for that a, a little bit. But I'm sure even if if we're not allowed poppies on shirts at, at the game itself and and in around stadiums, it, it's very easy to. To show our appreciation to to people of this country who've paid the, the ultimate <coughs> sacrifice. So, uh, uh, although it, we might not be able to get poppies on shirts, we will make sure that uh, everybody understands uh, our feelings towards the people who lost their lives serving the country. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to say other injuries. Glenn Johnson still out. Glenn still out. Yeah. Um, Jack, Jack, obviously, Glenn's um, progressing well. Uh, he's he's probably a couple of weeks still away from uh, joining back in, but um, that's progressing well. Um, uh, Ibrahim Afalai is training um, with the physios with a view to coming back into the group maybe in a couple of weeks as well. So that will be a big boost for everybody. It'd be good to see him training alongside. His teammates again. It's been a long time, so uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, Stevie Island is still progressing well, so uh, yeah, we're going to get some back hopefully um, in the next few weeks. Okay, All done. Okay, thanks, guys. Cheers, man.